The I-75, I-71 Ohio Crop Tour is presented by Agroculture Liquid Fertilizers. Grow more with less. As a final wrap-up, uh, I'd say that uh, the farther south we came, the more uh, uh, lack of moisture there was, which means that the uh, both corn and soybeans will need uh, some more moisture to finish up and maybe be a, a good solid uh, 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 production yield numbers. Um, all the crop we've seen needs more time and and the majority of it needs more moisture to finish out this year with a very good crop, uh, above, above average crop, I'd say. Pretty surprised today to see what looked like good fields from the road turn out to be underdeveloped or really uh, different once we got into the fields. I think if we have uh, good rain and a late frost, we could see another maybe 22 bushels to our average. Good rain, early frost, maybe another seven. Uh, no rain but a late frost, maybe five more. Uh, I think there's some potential there. Uh, no rain, early frost, maybe lose 18 bushel. All on the corn, the soybeans probably half that, but they I think they'd follow the same pattern. I think that what we've seen today has also been you know very surprising. Uh, a lot of good fields, but kind of turned out to be a little disappointing once we got out in them. Uh, I think that all the crops need a little more time especially the corn, soybeans necessarily probably need a little bit more moisture. Uh, back to the corn though, I'd say that if we get a couple timely rains uh, throughout the rest of the growing season, maybe a later frost, and we're looking at an above average crop, closer to uh, maybe 180 bushels an acre. So I'd say that there's, there's definitely good potential throughout Ohio. Yeah, I believe if we get an early frost and no rain, it's going to be detrimental on the beans especially, and I think it's going to hurt some of this corn that we've seen today that's been underdeveloped. If we get a, a late frost and we get some more rain, I think we're going to add some bushels to the corn and the bean side both.